Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is a little video for the Xtool D1. Today we are downloading the software for the iPhone. Now this also works on your iPad, iPhone obviously, and Android devices as well. Now I don't have an Android device so this might be slightly different, but this is for the iPhone. So go into your app, app store, Go into the search and at the top, type in LaserBox. This will come up and this is the app for a LaserBox. Not LaserBox, sorry, the D1. So you can go in there, right tool, uh, yeah. All right, so anyways, let's go ahead and we'll download that real quick. All right. Agree. All right, so this is a real simple app, not a lot of detail or uh, really fine settings to go into. Anyways, so let's go ahead and turn on our D1. You can hear it there in the background. Now up in the upper right hand corner you see the little box with the exclamation mark that is to let you know if the d1 is connected to your app so let's go ahead and tap that we'll allow okay There it is. All right, hit OK. See up now at the right hand corner, it's now a green box with a little laser. We are good to go, we are connected. Okay, so if you go into gallery, they have a whole bunch of different things that are already, uh, already on your phone that you can go ahead and use on any anything that you want to create. So let's just, ooh, I kind of like that Maritime Explorer. It's kind of neat. Oh, they got a lot of things in here. Okay, so let's just select, well, if you come in here to Quick Engrave, you can, oh, sorry. You can come in here and you can select uh, photos or you can actually capture so you can actually take a photo okay so I want to take a photo of the D1 you can actually then come into print settings unknown basswood corrugated paper so this is cardboard uh, artificial leather stainless steel coated metal uh, whatever so we just hit basswood and then design, print settings, oh, come on now. Okay, then you tap on the picture, basswood, density, uh, you can choose a whole bunch. Density, I believe, is the uh, how fine of the print you want. Let's just do 300, power 75%, speed, times, and then when you're done, just go back. Now, over here on your lower left-hand corner, it shows you how big the current picture is. You can adjust accordingly. I wish that as you adjust, that would uh, uh, the numbers would increase or decrease. You can come down here. You can rotate it. You can go back, go back forward. Uh, tap on that again. Yeah. Uh, the one next to the uh, 90 degrees, I'm not quite exactly sure what that's for. I believe that's for different layers, I think. I'm not entirely sure. haven't really played around a lot with it, uh, but we will definitely give that a shot. And uh, Or you can go on. Okay, so... Like I said, you can save, you can then save it or don't save. Not going to save that. 
but you got so many things you can do in here. Uh, actually, well, let's be honest, not a lot of things you can do. However, it's kind of kind of nice that you can just do something so simple, so quick like this. So I tell you what, let's go ahead. Let's do. You know what, let's do this the maritime. All right, I've got a little piece of wood really really thin so we're not going to be able to engrave real deep into it okay so let's click on that all right print settings material now this since this is so thin we are going to turn the power way down so let's do power 30. uh speed is fine Okay. So now at the top corner, we went ahead and hit the little play button. So in other words, that's, uh, that's to start it. All right. Move the center of the cross shape beam. Okay. Let's, uh, well, let's speed up. Speed this up a little bit more. There we go. Alright. Right now I am moving the board into place. Alright, now I hit framing. Checking this out. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, I'm going to move this into the center, though. Frame again. Frame one more time. I think that's good. Go ahead and hit start. It's uploading to the machine, the D1. All right, and there we go. And here's the final product. Now, obviously, if I would have gotten a little more power, uh, this would have looked much better. However, uh, for only being 30% power, I think that shows up rather well. I mean, down on is kind of hard, but another thing is this is kind of warped. So if I would have taped it down, I think that that would have really looked a lot better, but there it is. So there you go, engraving with the D1 laser app on your iPhone. Have a blessed day, everyone.